What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be talking about these brake rotors that I bought. Um, these are for the Box Chevy. Um, I'm doing um, just an upgrade on the front rotors. Um, I wanted to do the calibers and everything as well um, together, but I couldn't find a kit. So I had to buy everything separate. So the brake rotors are in. Um, and so these are going to be on the front of the car. Um, and, um, the wheels that I have are 4G autos and they have an open face on them. And so I wanted everything to look nice and clean under there. Um, so that's the reason, like I said, I went and did new rotors on it. Um, so basically, um, and then also it's just going to, like I said, work a lot better. The car's going to stop a lot better because I mean, it's new rotors. They're not worn out, um, and, and stuff like that. So basically, um. What I'm, what I'm working on here, like I said, it's an 80s model Chevy Caprice and the car's about 99% done. Like, I mean, I got so little stuff to do on the car now. I mean, the car's running and driving. I mean, everything's done. New fuel system in the car, new motor, new transmission, um, new, I mean, everything's pretty much new in the car. Um, Everything's done. Everything is good except for the interior. It's not done yet, and I didn't get it painted yet. That's the only thing that I didn't do yet. Um, other than that, everything's good. Just some little small things that I'm doing. Um, like I said, upgrading these brakes, making this thing look nice and clean out behind those wheels. Um, like I said, anybody that's that's building a car, I advise them to to do you know little stuff like this because um, it just looks good, and then you know it's gonna. It's going to hold up and it's going to last. Um, my other car, it's a 71 Impala and um, has 30 inch wheels on it. Um, they're tucked in really well. So you can't tell that they're 30s, especially in the back because they had skirts in the back. But um, that car, I had, to do, I had to do a big brake system on that because the wheels and stuff are so heavy and then the car is way bigger. Um, so I did a new booster. I did big brakes all the way around, big cap, <clears throat> big brakes, of course, big calibers, uh, and I did, uh, big rotors, and all the way around on the car front and rear, um, and one thing I do want to say is, when doing these cars like this, the rotors and the brakes aren't really what's going to stop the car, it's the booster is what's going to stop the car, so you really don't need all of the pretty brakes and everything you really don't need all that i just did that because you know i spent a lot of money in that car and so it's a it's a really nice looking car and i just went ahead and, and and made everything look good spent some money on everything it was just it just only made sense so um but with this car right here it's not quite as big the wheels not quite as big but like i said i just want everything to look nice and clean um and everything to work properly and everything like that so this brakes are already in the front of that car. The rear had drum brakes. Um, I'm doing a rear swap on that. So the rear swap has the disc brakes already on it. And um, the reason I made my mind up and went ahead and did the rear swap because I already had the rear end. And for one, if I would have did the disc brakes conversion it would have ran me between parts and labor. It would have probably been around two grand. Um, I said, you know, I could save some money because this car, this rear already has disc brakes on it. So I said, just do the rear swap. And it already has an 8.5 in it instead of the 7.5 that, that the car already has in it. So it was a win-win. Uh, bigger rear has disc brakes on it. So um, only thing I had to do was uh, in Install the positive unit new axle shafts new ring and pinion change the gear ratio and um, Yeah, now my car has disc brakes in the back and in the front Looks a lot better as I said the face of the wheel is open. So I don't like looking at that drum back there I want to look at those clean brakes back there. So uh so that's the reason I went with that. Um, yeah, so that's the reason I went with that. Um, but yeah, 
everything's looking nice and clean in the wheel well area um like i said if anybody has any comments questions just drop a comment down below feel free to um like i said these will be going on the car probably tomorrow and um probably gonna do a video on that as well show you guys how easy it is uh, one thing that i do like about these rotors here is that that they came already studded already so i like that um, the thing that i don't like i wanted some ones that were drilled and slotted and um couldn't find a set like that for the car they make them but i just couldn't find them so i said all right these will be fine but um but yeah they already studded um I pre-fit them already on the wheels. They fit perfect, so that's good. Um, the only thing now is left to do is just install them. Um, and then I'm gonna do like an upgrade to the brake system, like just the pads. I'm just gonna do like a nice ceramic pad or something like that. Um, and then I'll probably go ahead and just have the calibers um, sanded down real smooth, prime them, paint them. Um, uh, no, I'll probably just paint them. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint them yet. Just want them to kind of blend in. I don't want them standing out. They just do black, but I think black's gonna stick out a little bit with the brush wheel, with the chrome look. But uh, anyway, um, that's where we at with that. So you guys make sure you stay tuned because like I said, we have a lot more coming in store for this car and we have a lot more other stuff coming as well, um, such as content for the, for the channel. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, we got the posi rear that's going in the car. Still have to do the headliner in the car as well as the interior. Um, the car's gonna get painted real soon. Um, but yeah, um, this car is really gonna be outside. I'm gonna have it outside in the streets driving it real soon. Like I said, and doing some videos showing you guys how everything works. Um, also, stay tuned for the video that I'm gonna drop where uh, I show you guys how the car drives had functions and everything with the rear that's in it now which is a 7.5 and it's an auto posi unit but it had it has lockers in it <clears throat> so it's i guess it's a limited slip rear um it's, it's it came from the factory like that um i knew back in the day they said that those cars was like used for like towing and stuff like that so i think that's the reason they put like a rear in it like that but um but anyway it has lockers in it it will lock up but um this unit that's going in it's going to be um it's going to be like a, a posi unit i think it's going to be like maybe like a limited slip i'm thinking or it may be posi all the time but anyway it's not like a spool where like when i'm turning you know the car is going to be still locked up it won't be like that so um so yeah uh, that's another video that we'll probably do on spools they're a lot cheaper to do they'll make your rear posi but like i say that's another video right there um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to show you guys how the rear acts in it now, and then once the posi is in it, and how much difference we can tell on how the car drives, how it pulls, and etc. So y'all stay tuned for that video as well. Um, if you have not done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and share this video, because it really helps the channel out, and it really helps a lot of people out that's trying to do this or thinking about doing this. So uh, y'all stay tuned, more videos to come.